Is it all because we're getting fatter? You ain't been doing the education. You don't realize I'm so frustrated. You ain't got the answer. You ain't got the answer. So are our testosterone levels dropping? We're going to look at two studies today that may prove that our testosterone levels are dropping from years ago. Study one looked at the differences in total and free testosterone from individuals around the same age, but observed at different times. So for example, taking an 18 year old in 1930 versus taking an 18 year old in 2005 and comparing the testosterones of the different groups. So in the first study, they took 1700 men over the years 2002 to 2004, living in and around Boston and took their testosterone and other data like demographics, age, marital status, their job, what they do, health conditions, if they're on any medications and stuff like that. And this data was contributing to the larger Massachusetts male aging study, which is a database of males that's continually updated to track males as they go throughout their life. So they really had good testosterone data because they had been tracking many cohorts of men over many, many years. In fact, this database already had two previous groups of men and all their testosterone data from the periods of 1987 to 1989 and the period 1995 to 1997. And what did they find? Well, aged matched men. So they matched the ages of these men across the cohorts and found that the earlier cohorts had higher testosterone levels and it had actually decreased each study period. In fact, aged matched men from 2002 to 2004 had the lowest testosterone levels on average compared to the earlier periods of time. And when looking at pure birth years, testosterone dropped as the years went on. So the men born earlier on average had higher testosterone levels than the men born later. For example, a 65 year old man who was 65 in the first period of 1987 to 1989 would have been born in the years 1920 to 1924 and the researchers were saying that these guys had higher testosterone levels than the equivalent 65 year old male who was also 65 in the years 1995 to 1997, but born later i.e. between 1930 to 1934 as an example. And in fact, with each successive cohort of men, as you can see in this graph, the testosterone levels dropped and dropped. So the earlier men had higher testosterone levels and the later you were born in the 1900s, your testosterone would drop. And this is excluding just naturally dropping testosterone levels that all men experience. When matched cohort by cohort, the guys who were born later had a bigger drop and lower testosterone levels than the guys who were born earlier. But the decline in testosterone wasn't anything that the researchers could really pinpoint why this was happening. The only real differences in the cohorts were that smoking decreased because we know cultural trends trended away from smoking in the late 1900s, that being overweight and being obese increased, and that polypharmacy, i.e. the people taking six or more medications, increased as well. But apart from this, there was nothing else that the researchers could think to explain why testosterone dropped from cohort to cohort as we moved through the 1900s. And really, the researchers were just left to say, well, it's just some undocumented documented thing that we don't really know why this is happening. I don't know. Let's look at study two. So another study said, all right, well, let's look at this in more detail. And this study looked at men from 1999 to 2016 and found that across a larger cohort of men, so 4,000 men now, testosterone was lower in the period 2011 to 2016 versus 1999 to 2000. And these researchers were actually a bit braver and said, well, we actually think it's because obesity and overweightness has increased. In fact, the average BMI had increased from 25 to 27 over the 1990 to 2016 period. So maybe that's why testosterone has decreased. Is it all because we're getting fatter? Well, no, because even men with normal BMI in 1999 had higher testosterone levels than equivalent men with normal BMI in 2016. Now, keep in mind, this study wasn't perfect because it didn't capture all the confounding variables like environmental factors. And it was also based on surveys. So there can be some bias like sampling bias in the people that actually wanted to take part. But overall, these two studies do give us a pause to think about what is going on here. If these results are true, why do you think testosterone has dropped? Why is a male, an equivalent male in the early 1900s having a much higher testosterone level than the equivalent male who is the same age, the same BMI as someone who was born a lot later, like in the early 2000s? Why is testosterone seemingly dropping in society as a whole across the general population? Well, I think it is to do with our lifestyle, our diet, our exercise or lack thereof, and just all general modified 
identifiable risk factors. I mean, more than ever, we are spending more and more time behind desks, screens, working, anxious, stressed, and most of the general population is not even doing enough exercise at the moment. And not only that, but obesity and being overweight has increased a lot in the 100 years until today. And there is definitely an inverse relationship between testosterone levels and obesity. So the more obese you are or the more overweight you are, typically on average, the lower testosterone you're going to have. And I think all these lifestyle factors and our general society not being fit and healthy anymore is a potential reason why we are seeing these trends at a population level. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Why do you think testosterone has dropped so much in the 100 years until today? Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support. Fitness Science, signing out.